Amish as you've never seen them before. Young people given the opportunity to break away from their traditional way of life for a turn in the outside world. Yeah, we're talking about the Amish rite of passage known as Rumspringa, when young men and women are allowed to embrace everything that is forbidden in their culture, including alcohol, cigarettes, and now the internet. The notion of teenagers posting party pictures and snapping selfies is certainly not new, but these teenagers, whose faces were obscuring for privacy reasons, these teenagers are Amish. Yes, Amish, the defiantly tech unsavvy religious group best known for wearing prairie dresses, churning butter, and driving the horse and buggy. But when Amish kids hit a certain point in their teenage years, they enter what's called rumspringa, which literally means to run around. You may have gotten a taste of rumspringa on shows like TLC's Breaking Amish. I want to experience everything. During rumspringa, Amish kids get to set aside their culture's strict rules and explore the outside world. When it's over, they face a choice. Stay out in the world or come home and be baptized. And these days, this generation's old rite of passage has a new twist. As first reported by the website BuzzFeed, Amish teens are turning up the volume on Rumspringa by embracing social media, especially Facebook. Horses and buggies are replaced by wild limo parties. Friends posing with bottles of liquor instead of fresh milk. Boys who grew up without telephones or electricity showing off their cigarettes and beer. Noah Hirschberger left the Amish community in 2008, the day before he turned 17. He told us about parties like this one, as seen on the Discovery show Amish Mafia. Drinking, smoking, loud music. There's big parties every weekend. Pretty much every Saturday night there's a party somewhere, and they all get together, hundreds of them at, a, at one place, and that's how, pretty much how they socialize with each other. Facebook is some of it, but they still, I mean, weekends, it's, par it's parties everywhere. Chris Weber works with a group that counsels Amish teens on drug and alcohol abuse. The trick is, you know, with the Amish, they do everything in large social circles. So what you get is you're not going to have five kids sitting in a bedroom drinking beer and watching a DVD. You're going to have 50 kids in a shop playing beer pong because that's the size of their social circle. After Rumspringa, most Amish teenagers rejoin the community, but they often try to incorporate some of the modern technology they've encountered on the outside without violating their beliefs. In the past, for example, they've hired non-Amish people to drive cars for them, or they've put up phone booths outside of their homes. It will be fascinating to see what impact Facebook has on the future of this faith. Such an interesting part of their culture. And as the writer at BuzzFeed, who uh, initially uh, reported this story, pointed out, even though these kids are posting inappropriate pictures on their uh, social network feeds, uh, most likely their parents will never see it because their parents are not computer literate. Right, so two different worlds. Absolutely two different worlds. Fascinating.